What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Kate Bush. And we're back to start another album. That is to say, we're going to start going through the 1989 record, The Sensual World, with the title track. I do enjoy when a title track is the first tune on a record. It really suggests that it's a theme or atmosphere-setting track, um, at the very least. Um, it's reasonable to conclude that it's one of the stronger tracks, or at least as seen by the group, um, or perhaps the producers. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, it's always a you know notable thing to me when the title of the first track is the same as the album. So yeah, the central world, it's a phrase that suggests a world full of um, a feeling, a world feel full of at least potentially tactile experience, um, perhaps you know intimate experience in a physical sense. But I don't. I think it goes beyond that. Obviously, sensual. I think it's used in different ways. Um, you know, maybe a a more overtly sexual way, and then a more general in terms of feeling and sensations. So. Um, perhaps it could play off both of those renderings of the word. Obviously it could have nothing to do with any of that. And even if it does have some relation to that level of feeling or uh, touch, if you will, I imagine, you know, it'll take place within some narrative or some, um, you know, arcane uh, episode in history, or not arcane, but obscure, perhaps. Um, ultimately, yeah, uh, I know enough about Kate Bush to know now that even if I get a sense of, you know, some of the ideas suggested by the title, there's still going to be all sorts of uh, twists and turns uh, that may uh, surprise me. So let's find out what it is. This is the first track on The, sen the Sensual World, 1989, and it's the track of the same name. Makes me think of a Monty Python sketch, I have to say. Thank you. 
It's perfect. It's like it's literally exactly where my brain was thinking it should be coming or petering out and coming to an end. Um, so yeah, I like it feels more overtly sexual than I was thinking um, at the outset. I feel like there's like different aspects to the sensation and to the um, the feeling, um, and I'm really intrigued by the the Celtic feel to it. Again, I don't know if that's I don't know how you pronounce it. It's like Ulian pipes. I think I'm getting that wrong. Um, but it, they didn't feel like the louder bagpipes because there wasn't the like that drone like it was the like the slightly smaller feel to the pipes and then I think it was like a you know Celtic style fiddle maybe it was just a violin I'm not sure but um, definitely the track overall had a Celtic feel sonically and yet like I said there was that phrase where it almost had a Eastern dissonant type of feel so it wasn't you know some different flavors uh, but it also, the tune had this, you know, nighttime, on the dance floor, sultry sort of feel to it. So, um, a really interesting one sonically. And, yeah, it felt like toward the end it maybe became more overtly sexual. Perhaps, you know, it was like a progression of the, the sensuality. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's happening. I await people's comments again from the very beginning of the Kate Deep Dive. It's been one of the most... Um, information full in the comments and you know I've learned more about Kate through uh, the comments than perhaps in some other deep dives where you know even if people do comment it's just not as um, thorough and significant um, which again that's not to criticize anyone who's commented in any deep dive but basically just to say that the Kate Bush people know what they're talking about and have a lot of information at hand so uh, looking forward to hearing what people have to say about this song, about this album, um, and again, big shout out to Seb for sharing all this stuff. Uh, it's an artist I really didn't know, um, despite being familiar with one of her tunes for many, many years, and in the last several months, you know, this has been one of the craziest journeys I've been on, so uh, big ups to Kate as well. I, it's, it's like, I feel so bad. Like, my cat is adorably just like, you know, comatose on my lap. Um... Well, yeah, I do at this point have to pick you up, Luca. I am so apologetic. We'll see if we can get her back down onto the chair, holding onto my shirt, but I guess we're good. Do let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.